Yes, come in. Hello, Mr. Amir. Yes, please have a seat. Nice to see you. Okay, Mr. Amir. What brings you in today? I really don't want to talk about why I'm here. No? Well, just to let you know that everything that you're about to say is going to stay in this room. And you also have the right to not answer my questions and talk about what you want. And this is just to get a clear picture to see if there's any way that we can help you out with this whole process. I'm together. fine. I don't need help. You're fine? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know why I'm here. Well, there was a police report about an incident that happened. <clears throat> It involving yourself and another individual. So we just... There's two to be exact. Two individuals. But I don't want to talk about it though. No, well... Due to the case, we kind of have to talk about this. If you want to proceed and have a chance of winning your case or being able to get... Well, I told them. I told them. Just tell me what you want. Just tell me what you said. Or I'll kill you. I told them and they still wouldn't confess. They wouldn't say it. What, what, what are you they were trying to make fun them? of me, make me look bad because I'm adopted. I told them, like, confess, you. this is what you said. If you don't say it, I'm going to kill you. Okay. Um, they, didn't say it. <laughs> they didn't. I told them, I warned them. And what I do? How do you know that they said that? I just do. You just do? Because, because people don't like me. So, when people see me, of course they're going to talk bad about me because I know they don't like me. Why? Why do you think they don't like you? <clears throat> I don't, it's just because it's me, probably because I'm Islamic or because I'm a male or I'm adopted. I don't know. These people just don't like me at all. And, like, I try, and I, of course I want to be liked, but, like... They tell you they don't like you? Well, I, I don't have to ask. I just know they don't like me. You assume they don't like you without approaching them first? Yeah. Yeah? Some, yeah, I do that a lot. <clears throat> but it's because they don't. I know they don't. So as I like growing up, like, I don't know. I just felt like, just like my family and stuff. What about your family? How was your Early childhood days. What, what do you remember of that? <clears throat> well, I'm not, I'm not like my. I had good parents. My parents were there for me all the time. Mm -hmm. But then I felt like they were treated me more harsh compared to my brother, and I felt like because of that, it was because they hate me, and I don't know why they hated me. I didn't do anything wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. I just I don't know. You know, you don't think that. <clears throat> They might have not hated you. Well, then if they didn't hate me, then why would they treat me so harshly and not my brother? Why? What would they do that you think is harsh? Well, I know they're just like, just, I don't know, they shouldn't treat me right. Like, they were just harder on me. Like, just to a point where it's just like, not how you treat a kid, your son, you know? Okay, I see that there's some medical history you have. <clears throat> you had an incidence of seizures. How how did that go? Yeah, I had a history of seizures. It's like just hard stuff. But do they repeatedly happen? Um, not often. But I mean, I do have a history, but it's not like something reoccurring like every month, or like every single year. It it just happens here and there. I mean, I'm 54, so I'm an old fart. Okay, um, well, I see that you've only had one job. <laughs> Why is that the case? <sighs> well, <clears throat> in like 1980-something, I don't remember, I was diagnosed as legally blind. So I couldn't really hold a lot of jobs. So I only really had one job. I was a pilot. Okay. And I assume as a pilot, it's very important to be able to see. 
So how did you feel about losing that job? Well, <clears throat> the only reason why I lost it because of this offense that I have against me. But I didn't do anything wrong. Like I told them, like I told them, just say what what you said, and everything will be fine. And if you don't, I'm going to kill you. I don't know what's wrong with that. I told them, I warned them, I gave them options, I gave them chances, and they did not listen. It's not my fault that they're dead. It's not my fault that they were treating me wrong. It's not my fault. Because everyone's just out to get me. I don't know. No one likes me. It's just been hard with people. So you expressed your aggression through violence? <clears throat> well, how else are people going to listen? Look at these two women, for example. I told them to tell me. And what they do? They didn't listen. I'm a man of my word. I told them. If you don't say, if you don't tell me, I'm going to kill you. And this makes me tired of the stomach when I talk about this. Okay. In your family, has there ever been any history of mental illnesses with them? Not that I know of. No, okay. No brothers, sisters, or relatives, uncles, aunts, nothing? No. Okay. Then what are your experience with substances such as alcohol and drugs? I don't, I haven't used any of that stuff. Never used it? No, I don't know. I didn't find a point in it. Okay. Well, now I'm going to give you a test. Is it going to take long? No, it won't take long at all. It's just to give you an idea of how things are going. <clears throat> okay. So, this is the question. What is the year? 2019. What season are we in? Fall. Do you know the date? Day of the month? Um, the 11th. Is that the day of the month? That's the day. The day? <clears throat> what would the month be? October. Okay. Where are we now? In your office. What state are we in? California. Do you know the county? Yes, I know the county. It's Riverside. Okay. What's the point of this test? It's just to evaluate your ways of expression. Okay, we're almost done. Almost, yes. Not too long. Okay, I'm gonna name three objects, and then I'm gonna ask you to repeat them to me. Okay. Shirt. Shoes. Shoes. Couch. Couch. Okay. <laughs> Shirt. Shoes. Couch. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, I would like you to count from one hundred backwards in sevens. By seven. 100, 93, 86, that's as far as I can go. Okay, that's fine. Earlier, I told you to name three things. Can you tell me what they are? Shirt, shoes, and couch. Yes, okay. Now you're going to repeat the phrase, no ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. Okay, can we be done with this? Yes, I'll do a couple more questions. Oh my gosh. Now, I would like you to take this paper, fold it in half, and put it on the floor. Very good. Now, please read this and do what it says. Read what? This right here. And do close your eyes. Very good. Okay. Now I want you to make up a sentence about anything. I didn't kill them. Okay. 
Now, this is the last question. I would like for you to draw a copy of this. I kind of need something to write with, Doc, here. Okay. Here you go. Okay, very good. Well, Mr. Amir, I'd like to inform you that you have a pretty severe case of schizophrenia. What the heck is that? What? Well, it's a disorder that puts you in a depressive mood and doesn't really allow you to socialize in a good way, and it has a lot of negative emotions to it. Okay. So, so we're gonna go through other sessions to see how we could access this, and we'll go from there. Can we done here? Yes, we are done for today. Thank you for coming.